Welcome back to Star Stable with Stacy. Stacy here, along with Dust Cherry, who, unfortunately, I spent some time leveling, but we're not actually going to end up using today because the Konimaras are out. So before we take this trip with this creepy little elf on Santa's sleigh, we're going to go check out the Konimaras. There's one in Fort Pinta and two, two in Paddock Island. So three total right now. I'm very excited. It was They were a huge hit in the community. I've seen so many people riding them and now we can go get one ourselves. Let's go. Oh my gosh, have you seen this horse? Look at its legs and its hair. Look at his little forelock. It's adorable. Ooh, he's doing, oh, hello. <gasps> he turned and looked at us. Did you see that? Oh, there's so much life in this horse. Oh, you guys, please tell me which one you bought. I'm really curious. So this is the first one. It is a dapple gray. We can read about them as well. The Konimara is best known today as a sports pony. Ridden by both children and adults, it is considered to be a very versatile pony breed, competitive in show jumping, dressage, and eventing, but also with the stamina for endurance riding. While the Konimara is classified as a pony in most parts of the world, it is a fast enough breed to be allowed to compete with the other horse breeds in Jorvik. So this pony, technically a pony, but we're going to call it a horse in Star Stable, cannot compete in the pony championships or races, but can in the regular championships and races. They're just, I think they're too big too fast to be on par with the ponies in the game. So we have the Dapple Grey, and then we're going to go check out two more on Paddock Island. Oh, these are beautiful. We have a red roan here who also has a marking on his nose. It's a bit tough to see until he moves. There you go. <laughs> until he moves his hair. And a buckskin over here. They're all so cool. There's even a little detail on his on his fur. Oh, there. Good, good close-up. Everything's falling into place today. It's working great. Wow. Even on other red roan horses there hasn't been this much detail his face is beautiful i love the marking on his nose oh <sighs> anyway i think i know which one i'm gonna get on nova and which one i'm gonna get on my own account but you guys let me know which ones you bought on your account and what you named them i bet these guys have come out with some pretty cool names i'm gonna do it you guys i'm gonna go for the buckskin Oh, so for these two, you have to be level 12. The one that's in Fort Pinto right now for two weeks, there's no level restriction. But after those two weeks are up, you're going to have to be level 12 to pick it up. Bird Maniac is our first randomized name choice. Pretty interesting. Lemonberry was super cute. I think someone told me they named their horse Lemonberry. It was Lemon something very recently. Crazy Mirror. Carrot Echo. We should totally do Carrot something. I think there's carrot cake. Pumpkin potential. <laughs> Could possibly be a pumpkin if he puts in a little effort. Bright heart. That's so adorable. How do you guys feel about bright heart? Is that very sentimental? It seems like a, a soft and gentle horse who just is out to have a little bit of fun. Bright heart. I like it. It makes me think of a dragon. Is there a dragon named bright heart out there in the universe? Let's do it. Guys, there's a little bit of pink on his nose. Then he's sleeping. Wake up. We have to look at your nose. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice it before. I'm in love with this horse. I hope you guys love them too. And his hair is all a little messy, like he slept in a little too late. <laughs> I grabbed some tack while I was at the Yarlison farm. Um, I'm not going to keep it on, but I wanted to purchase it because I think it's really pretty and I didn't know it existed. So if you're interested in this tack, it's over on Paddock Island. I couldn't get the leg wraps yet because my reputation's not high enough. Surprise, surprise. But it's adorable. But we're going to put our winter gear on and head to the Christmas village. Hello, kind sir. We'd like a ride to Christmas. To Christmas, please. Oh, these are sad times. You don't understand? There's no winter. No winter. That's the problem. Oh, you humans haven't considered what happens to Christmas when everything starts getting warmer, have you? What happens to the Christmas spirit when the snow is gone from Jorvik? You didn't think of that when you drilled for oil in the Everwind fields, did you? That wasn't you? 
Oh, well, lucky for you, Santa has solved the problem. If Christmas can't come to Jorvik, then Jorvik must come to Christmas. Step aboard the sleigh, dear rider. Step aboard and let us fly to Santa's magic Christmas market. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we've arrived in this beautiful winter wonderland. Look at that market. Oh, here's our little buddy. Welcome to Santa's Magic Christmas Market. You should go talk to the big guy himself. He wants to greet all visitors personally. You haven't been naughty this year, have you? <laughs> Just ride down the slope through the Christmas market and you're sure to see him. Goodbye and Merry Christmas. Okay. Down this big slide. Here we go. Whee! Wow, Brightheart really gets to stretch his legs going down that slide. This is adorable. Look at that tree. That's magnificent. Oh, look at his forelock moves when we're running. That's fantastic. Oh, but let's turn around and talk to Santa now. <laughs> oh, oh, welcome to the Christmas market. A jolly place where all your holiday dreams come true. At least, I hope they do. I must confess, Nova, I am a bit anxious about this Christmas. You see, I decided to give my usual team of elves a vacation and called in some temporary workers. These little helpers are, how can I put this delicately, enthusiastic. They try, oh, they try, but if I'm entirely honest, I'm not sure they grasp the spirit of Christmas. They're quite harmless and quite merry once you get to know them. Please enjoy your time here in the Christmas market and come back often. Oh, okay. And he gave us a hat. I trust you are having a wonderful time here in my magic Christmas market. Excellent. The little helpers I hired to fill in for my vacationing elves have really embraced the spirit of Christmas. At first, I worried that, <laughs> that with the teeth and horns, the helpers would be more scary than merry, but they've really grown on me. I am a bit concerned that some of the team leaders haven't sent me their daily reports. Running Christmas is no easy task. Perhaps these helpers could use a little help of their own. But I'm so busy myself with all of these lists to recheck. If only there was someone else to assist me. Hmm. I think we can be of service, Santa. I should have known you'd volunteer. After all, you're right at the top of my nice list. Ooh, does that mean more presents? Now, let's see here. I'm missing reports from three little helpers. Pongle, Zingle, and Krangle. All right. The little helper named Pongle is as kind and warm as a roasted chestnut, if a bit of a worrier. That's why I made him my chief security helper. He was supposed to send me a safety report, but I haven't heard from him all day. He's currently stationed by the frozen lake. Perhaps you could go check in on him. Of course. Who else do we have to check in on? Tell me truthfully, young lady. I'm a fashionable fellow, aren't I? The fuzzy red suit, the tummy cinching belt. You could say I'm a fashion icon. Zingle, the little helper in charge of stocking our holiday fashions, thinks otherwise. He's been pressuring me to throw out my closet and get a total makeover. But what if I don't want to be fierce? Isn't cozy enough? Speaking of Zingle, he's been texting me nonstop. What do you think these emojis mean? Sweater 100% on fire? Is that a good thing? I miss the good old days when everyone communicated with handwritten letters and lists. Sigh. Maybe you could go check in on Zingle behind the clothing boutique and make sure things aren't unraveling. What is Christmas without comforting baked goods to warm the heart and the tummy? I am something of a cookie connoisseur. <laughs> I know my way around your snickerdoodles and chocolate chip varieties. This season, though, there's a new cook manning the cookie station. Oh, excuse me, a new patissiere? Oh, like a patisserie? Patissiere? Krangle is very particular about the distinction. Krangle and I had a few heated discussions about what constitutes a cookie, and after a few deconstructed cookie experiences, we settled on traditional iced gingerbread. I thought everything was running like a well-oiled skillet, but Krangle still hasn't sent me his daily report. Maybe you could check up on him. Oh, especially if there's cookies involved. Yes. <laughs> All right. Pringle, Pringle, Kringle, Sing, Pringle, Mingle, Dongle. 
Pringle, Pringle, Krangle, Krangle, Krangle. Let's just go find the elves. There's one. Is this the fashion one? <laughs> Look, he's wearing a little sweater. Hello there, stranger. What are you wearing? Mind if I take a snap for my gram? Don't worry, you're flawless. But enough about you, I'm Zingle, and even if you haven't heard of me, you'll be wearing me soon enough. This Christmas, I'm a lowly warehouse helper, but next year I'm designing all the clothes. After all, being fabulous is what Christmas is all about. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> If only this boutique was as immaculate as my aesthetic. As you can see, it's a catastrophe. <sighs> it was like this when I arrived this morning. Someone broke into our stock of the season's top fashions and dumped them on the ground like rejects at a sample sale. Oh, you gorgeous puffers and knits. What have they done to you? I'm so shook I can barely stand. Where's a pumpkin spice latte when you need one? No kidding, right? You'll pick them up, won't you? Of course you will, you're fierce, horsey lady. Nothing could stop you, not even a horrible mess. Oh, all right, yes, we'll clean up. Is that what you're getting at? You want us to pick up your clothing? Oh no. Everything is accounted for. Thankfully, no damage that a little steam clean and gentle folding can't fix. Christmas is saved. What kind of monster would treat fashion like that? If you hadn't showed up when you did, the only clothes left for Christmas would be ugly sweaters. Help me. I can't bear to think of it. This was no accident, horse lady. This was sabotage. Santa needs to know. You'll tell him, won't you? And remind him about my fashion tips. That jolly man dresses to slay. <laughs> to slay. But if he took in my advice, he could dress to slay. Oh, I love it. All right. On to the next elf. Uh, leprechaun? Little helper. Look at this little baking area. This is adorable. Hey, little buddy. I like your sunglasses. I kind of want to zoom in a little bit. We could see him a little better. Oh, I love his top. Are you the health inspector? No? Phew. I was worried you were here to shut this cafe down. You're probably wondering what my confections are doing on the kitchen floor. The cookie baking gig should have been a cakewalk, but someone sabotaged my recipe. I'm way overqualified to act as Santa's director of cookie operations. Did I let that stop me from taking the job? No. I saw it as a chance to push my craft. The boss wants sugar cookies and gingerbread. I can do that. Find my spin. Flour. Too pedestrian. Let's go with spelt. No oven? Then I'll bake on a campfire. That's what Christmas is all about, right? Thinking outside the box. But then someone went and swapped out my curry powder with cinnamon. Can you imagine? Gingerbread with cinnamon notes? What is this, 1992? My curry ginger crisp would have blown your taste buds. No way I could sell a bunch of boring cookies. Okay, so I lost my temper a little and dumped the whole batch on the ground. It's not too late to bake a new batch the right way, but someone's got to deal with this mess. I'm making you my honorary sous chef. Take this broom and sweep up the bad batch before any customers or real health inspectors show up. And be careful with that broom. It's vintage. Oh, all right. Yes, sir. I'm going to hop down here from Brightheart. Did he give me a broom? He did. Thank you. Look at all these cookies gone to waste. Hey, nice job sweeping up the mess. Oh, don't look so sad about it. Sure, those cookies look delicious. He's talking to my horse. <laughs> but they didn't respect my artistic vision, you know? Maybe I'll save a few of the unbroken ones for that Santa guy. The first so-called cookie connoisseur, he really has low standards. Finally, I can get back to baking. Forget curry. I'm going to try something new, totally outside the box. You probably never heard of it. Oats. They're all the rage in Williamsburg right now. Wait, you're telling me that oats are quite normal around these parts? That's unexpected. I have to meditate on this. But about the last batch, I'm certain somebody tried to sabotage my baking. Someone here is jealous of my baking mastery. Has to be. Santa should know about this. You let him know when you give him my report. Will do, Kriangle. There's one more little helper we need to talk to. Oh, and he's got a cone on his head. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
b b boss Claus sent you? I'm fired, aren't I? Oh, jeez, I should have known my job was on thin ice. Just give me a minute to pack my things. What's that? I'm not fired? You're here to help? Why didn't you say that sooner? As chief safety helper, it's my job to enforce proper ice traversal technique and minimize slips, falls, and tumbles. I take my job very seriously. Lately, things have gotten terribly dangerous. There are branches scattered all over the lake. Someone could take a nasty spill. It has me so worried I can't think straight. I'm going to have to close down the lake. It's the only way to ensure no one gets hurt. Unless... You! You have to help me pick up the branches scattered across the frozen lake. Safety. That's what Christmas is all about. Poor little buddy. He's so upset. We'll do it. Hopefully with minor slippage. Break out the tinsel. The lake is safe. Although if you ask me, Christmas would be a lot safer if people and horses stayed off the ice altogether. A cozy indoor Christmas where no one can get hurt. That would be delightful. Something is still bothering me about the mess on the lake. A few branches here or there could have snapped off the trees, but all those piles have to be deliberate. It's like someone wanted the lake to get shut down. That makes no sense. It says right here on the standard contract all of us little helpers signed when we took the job. Maximize for merriment and promote jolliness with all guests. Boss Klaus should know about this. Can you let him know about the branches and give him my apologies for the late report? I won't let him down again. Uh-oh. Now we have three little helpers who all feel as though their job has been sabotaged. Hmm. What do you say, Boss Claus? You sorted things out with our little fashionista. Zingle showed me his designs for next year's fashions, and they are quite... creative. Mrs. Claus usually handles our holiday fashions, but perhaps we could let him design a t-shirt. He does try so hard. This business with the sabotage is quite unsettling. Could it really be a rogue little helper? I thought our team building seminar had been quite effective, but apparently I was wrong. Someone sabotaged Krangle's curry ginger cookie recipe? Well, I can't say I blame them, but on principle, sabotaging someone's baking is a very naughty thing to do. Most troubling. Thank you for checking in on Pongle. This business with the branches is concerning, but I wouldn't start jingling the alarms just yet. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. With the big day so near, I should be feeling merrier by the day, but something is keeping me from getting swept up in the Christmas spirit. Oh. What's happening? Goodness gracious. What? What happened? Three separate reports from my little helpers suggest that someone naughty is making mischief in my Christmas market. So far, the incidents have been relatively harmless, but they point towards one motive. Someone wants to spoil Christmas for everyone! This crash business sounds serious. I hope none of the little helpers were injured. Please, Nova, will you help me get to the bottom of this? Check out the crash and find out what happened. What crash? What is he talking about? Oh my goodness, what happened here? Fortunately, the sleigh crashed into a mound of snow, so there isn't any damage to the market and no one got hurt. There's no sign of a sleigh driver. Could this have been the work of the saboteur? I should search the area for clues. Oh, all right. This Yule goat took a tumble in the crash. What an odd thing to wish for as a Christmas present. Cookie crumbs, they smell like curry. Wasn't it the flavor Krangle was using in his recipe? These sunglasses are so ugly that maybe they're hip? Definitely Zingle's aesthetic. A safety cone like the one Pongle the safety helper was wearing. This present is definitely ruined. I hope whoever this was intended for still gets a gift this year. It looks as if the sleigh slid off the ramp and crashed into the snow. Oh, I didn't get to see what that said. You're back. What did you discover about the crash? We can always fix the sleigh and make more presents. The important thing is that no one was hurt. But if your suspicion is correct and this is the work of a saboteur, well, I might have to cancel the Christmas market for the rest of the season. Unless we can find the saboteur and make sure his naughty streak ends here. Are there any suspects? You found clues that Pongle, Zingle, or Krangle could have been behind the crash? This doesn't make sense. 
I have to think about what to do next. In the meantime, perhaps you could check in on my reindeer. They must be so worried from all that commotion. Hello, little reindeer. How are you feeling? Oh, we can give it a gingerbread. Oh. Now we can give it a gingerbread. There you go, buddy. <gasps> a clue. It's a cookie. This is odd. It looks like someone passed through here in a hurry. How can you tell? It's just a cookie. There's a trail of odds and ends leading away from the stables. I should find out where it leads. Okay. Let's get on our horse, though. A newspaper? Cookies? A pillow? More cookies. A present. Another pillow. A newspaper. Where are we going? I don't want to go into the woods. It's dark in here. Where are we? What is this? The trail seems to end here. Look at all the pillows. How odd. It looks like someone's been hiding out here in the forest. Could it be the saboteur? But it looks so cozy. I should investigate. These pillows look pretty cozy. They do. I will not lie. Presents, pillows, and cookies? I'm in. They have an all-cookie diet? That's probably not good. Back issues of the Yorvik Gazette. Someone had a lot of free time. Oh! Oh, it's a... <laughs> Look at that snowman. A Santa hat sized for one of the little helpers. I wonder who could have dropped it. <gasps> oh! That guy. Who are you? How did you find me? You found me, but how? Uh-oh. Oh no, he's running away! No! Enough cutscene, we have to chase him. I'm on a very low-level horse. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this is not gonna go well. Click! Click away! Get him! Oh no. Whew, okay. Oh no, I missed! I was clicking so fast! I'm sorry I tried to run. Don't worry, I won't do it again. Honey will go down in history as the little helper who tried to ruin Christmas. You must hate me. It's okay, I deserve it. I'm going to turn myself into Santa. Could you come with me? I don't have the courage to do it alone. But what? Why? Did I miss it because I clicked too fast? Ho, ho, hmm? What's that? You found the saboteur? He decided to turn himself in. Honey, my little friend, whatever could have possessed you to cause all this trouble? I'm sorry, Santa. I tried to be part of the Magic Christmas Market. I really did. But while all the other little helpers found the spirit of Christmas, I couldn't find it inside of me. I don't know what Christmas is all about. It's about safety. Nope, nope. It's about looking fabulous. It's about thinking outside the box. That's Christmas in a nutshell. Wrong. No, you're wrong. Burn the Yule Goats! Hold it. Santa Christmas can mean all those things, can it? Oh, honey, the spirit of Christmas isn't something you know in your head. It's the feeling you get in your heart when you're with the ones you care about. The spirit has been in you all along, in all of you in different ways. That Christmas magic comes from bringing all your special gifts together. Like ginger and curry. Like pink sweaters and leopard print leggings. Bringing gifts together. I get it, Santa. Christmas is about presents. Presents, presents, presents. Oh, you, you tried, Santa. <laughs> Thank you for helping me learn that the spirit of Christmas is all about presents. And in that spirit, I have a special present for you. Now, if you don't mind, I have a lot of presents to wrap. Merry Christmas. We just got special reindeer powder! Awesome! We get to turn our rain our horse into a reindeer for 15 minutes. Nice. This works just like the Halloween powders. 
So we hop off our horse, apply the magic powder. Ooh, he's very excited about it. Oops. <gasps> and it's a white reindeer. Look how beautiful. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I've never turned my horse into a reindeer before, so this is new to me. Amazing. Yay! And if you check over here, you can also turn it into a Rudolph, uh, a gray reindeer. And in the ice boutique, if you trade in Christmas wishes, you can get uh, the fourth style of reindeer. I think it's a looks like Rudolph, but without the red nose. And here's your powders. You can buy it in bulk as well because they can still be used after the Christmas event has ended. The one in the ice boutique, you cannot. But these ones you can, which is awesome. We can be reindeer all year round. Thank you for tuning in and joining me on this Christmas adventure. It's been a blast and there's still a lot more to do in this Christmas village and we didn't even go shopping yet, but we'll have time for that in the next episode. Uh, so let me know in the comments below what you guys are up to. If you enjoyed the Christmas village, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Star Stable for more amazing videos on the way soon. I'll see you next time. Bye.